In this video, we take a look into the life of Mr. Josiah Hansen, who was the inspiration for the fictional character Uncle Tom. Now, Uncle Tom's character was mistakenly confused with another fictional character by the name of Sambo. In this video, we looked at fact and fiction. But first, here's a word from our sponsor. Hello, my name is Howard Dorsey. I'm 54 years old. I'm here to talk about my uh, experience with herbal results. Um, I was getting sick, so I, I went to the doctor and they told me that um, my blood pressure was high, my cholesterol was borderline or high, so I was very sick. You know, I thought I was, sometimes I thought I was dying at, at some point. And uh, I ordered a bottle of olive leaf extract. This is, this is how the bottle comes in. And within the first probably week and a half, two weeks, I checked my blood pressure and it was back down to normal. It was like 120 over 80. My cholesterol went down to uh, 125. You know, I definitely believe that olive leaf extract from Herbal Results saved my life. And I, that's real. I mean, I, 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 and I recommend it to everyone in my family, my friends, and we've seen a lot of results in that, in that manner as well. Shop now at shop.herbalresults.net and check the description for the discount code. Josiah Hansen was an author, abolitionist, minister, and Harriet Beecher Stowe's inspiration for Uncle Tom's Cabin. Hansen's father was whipped, got his ear cut off, and was sold south after hitting a white man who tried to rape his wife. Hansen never saw his father again, but this gives us insight into Josiah's character. He became a preacher through memorizing verses, although he couldn't at the time read and write. In 1830, Henson ran away with his wife and two youngest children, walking over 600 miles to Canada, but he didn't stop there. Now, there's a few things that I would like to reiterate. Now, Henson's father was whipped and he got his ear cut off and he was sold south. Henson never seen his father again. Nowadays, we read these atrocities and we talk about these things. But just imagine that your father's ear was cut off. He was sold and you never seen him again. Could you imagine the traumatizing experience that must have been? And just imagine for one second the effect that that would have had on young Josiah. Could this be the reason why certain people do not want our history taught in schools? Food for thought. In 1841, Mr. Henson helped start a freeman settlement called the British American Institute in an area called Don, which became known as one of the final stops on the Underground Railroad. Henson repeatedly returned to the U.S. to guide 118 other slaves to freedom. Now, how many of us knew that? Does this sound like someone that we would consider to be an Uncle Tom? And don't forget, he was the inspiration for the book, Uncle Tom's Cabin. It was a massively dangerous undertaking, but Henson saw a greater purpose than simply living out his life in Ontario, Canada. In addition to his service to the school, Henson ran a farm, started a grits mill, bred horses, and built a sawmill for high-quality black lumber. So good, in fact, that it won him a medal at the first World's Fair in London 10 years later. Yes, folks, this former man who was enslaved was highly talented, highly skilled in many different aspects of his life. And he won a medal at the first World's Fair held in London. Henson's life inspired the work of Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin. Tom displayed the following characteristics. He refused to beat black women. He refused to force other black people to pick cotton. He took the cotton out of his own bag and put it in others' bags so those slaves wouldn't get whipped for not having the proper weight. As you know, the enslaved had to pick a certain amount of cotton or they wouldn't be punished. And he refused to tell where attempted escaping slaves were hiding. 
Again, does that sound like what we consider to be an Uncle Tom or Uncle Tom or a coon or a sellout? No, this man was highly, highly intelligent and he loved his people. So much so that he would give them cotton so that they would not be whipped. For many years, we have been mistaking Uncle Tom for Sambo. Now, Sambo, the characteristics of Sambo, that's a whole nother story. We'll talk about his characteristics in a minute. See if you recognize anybody in there. Josiah Henson was a true hero who helped hundreds of enslaved men, women, and children escape north years before the Underground Railroad. He was a good man and a great leader. Now, my question is, why don't we know his name? Josiah Henson, he was a true hero. He helped, and he helped free over 118 people out of slavery before the establishment of the Underground Railroad. Yes, this man was anything but a sellout, anything but a so-called Uncle Tom. He was a true hero whose name we all should know, Josiah Henson. Now, in the fictional book, Uncle Tom's Cabin, the character Sambo and Quimbo, as a matter of fact, they were what would be really considered sellouts and not Uncle Tom. In the book, Uncle Tom actually gave some cotton to one of the workers in the field so that they would not come up short, which is really, as I said, a take on the life of Josiah Henson, who actually did this. Now, in the book, Sambo and Quimbo told the master they loved their master. They loved their master more than they loved themselves. If any of you have seen the movie Django, then the character played by Samuel Jackson Stephen, yes, he was a Sambo. He definitely was not a Uncle Tom. And in the book, when the master found out, he had Sambo and Quimbo beat Uncle Tom. And eventually, Uncle Tom died in the book, in the story. Now, we, know, we all know people who have sold black people out. And unfortunately, we use terms like coons and sellouts and Uncle Toms to those who sell out their own people. The characteristics of those people are no matter what black people do, they always criticize. They always have criticism and harsh words for black people. They, they always try to tell black people what they should and they should not do while ignoring the other the, the bad things that go on in other communities, but they are quick to criticize black people. Like Malcolm X said, when they when the boss when their boss gets sick, they will say, "What's the matter, boss? We sick?" Now Malcolm said, "That's the Negro that's out of his mind." The boss gets sick, and he and he says, "What's the matter, boss? We sick?" But the fact of the matter is, Josiah Henson was not a sellout he was a hero to many people and his story should and must be told he was not a turncoat he was not a benedict arnold he was not a so-called coon he was somebody who loved his people and did what he could to protect his people and he in fact led over 100 people into freedom during the underground railroad Josiah Henson, a real black hero. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, remember, thou art rich.